Hey crafty friends, Amanda here with Crafting with Amanda and I'm doing something different today. I'm going to show you how to customize a cut above layout for your photos. Hey guys, I'm excited. I'm still working on some heritage photos and these, I wasn't even there for this. This is my brother and sister-in-law, my cousin Ben and my uncle Jeff. There's my mom and dad and then this is my granddad and his wife Selma. My mom's mom passed away several years ago and then here I have to show. So that's my Aunt Sue. She's just an amazing lady. So as I was looking at these photos, and I don't know if you know, this is my granddad's writing that's on the back of these. So I copy them, I cut this one off, but I copy them so that I have some journaling because especially for this one, I wasn't there. I'm looking at the colors to trying to find what inspiration for what papers I wanna use. And I'm seeing a lot of red and blue, and then the walls here are um, a lighter blue. So I was going through my papers and I came across this. Now this is the cut above layout. We used to sell these separately, but now you can get them if you have the Craft With Heart scrapbooking subscription. And so you can do a four month subscription or a 12 month, which is a better deal. They cut you a bigger percentage off. But what you get is everything that you need to do two scrapbook layouts. So this is from August of 21. We were in California and had just moved there and had whole house stuff, but um, life was happening, so scrapbooking wasn't. But this is from 21. But here are the two layouts that it has. And since with my photos, I don't really have any information. I don't even know why they were there in May of 97. Um, but I have who was there and it's family. So that's going to be my title, obviously. But I thought maybe this layout would work or even this one because I just need one side of it. And what I love about this, this came together. I already started cutting it apart, but it shows you layout one. These are what go with layout one and layout two. And so what I like to do is when I start things off is I'll just go ahead and make two piles. It also comes with the page protectors you need for all of your layouts, which is fantastic. And then I'll just go through and separate these into the two piles. And then I'll come back with where we're gonna go from there. So I just wanted to show you here. So I put those first two layouts with the pieces sandwiched in between. And then I know I'm not gonna use this layout for these photos, so I'm gonna sneak it in here as well. And then I'll also put any of these components that I know I'm not gonna use. But for now, I'll just keep them out as options. And then I'll also sneak that instructions in there so that I know what's in there and what my options are. Now I'm back and I've pulled out all of the components for layout number two. And some of them are for the left-hand page, which I'm not using, and others are for the right-hand page. But I'm good with mixing and matching and, and using what I need to. I'm just taking some of the photo mats they have. I'm looking at the instruction sheet to kind of get an idea of what direction they were going in and seeing how I can use my photos to work within these parameters. And you can see I brought the instruction seat up so that it was a little easier for me to see what's going on. Originally I thought maybe it would be on screen that you guys could see as well, but it's not. As I was progressing, I realized I definitely was gonna add some of the background element stamps in here, again, to just customize it and make it my own. And I had these other two stamps that had some journaling stuff on them that one had a star and one had a heart. So I had pulled those off thinking maybe I would use them. Spoiler alert, I didn't use either of them. I just used the background element stamp. I can't believe it's already April. So this background element stamp is from our core catalog. And if you haven't ordered it yet, you really might wanna do it. It is so versatile. So I'm playing with that scallop background in the charcoal. And then I had pulled all of the stickers that I wanted to use on this page off the sticker sheet. And I did rub them on my embossing buddy just to put powder on them. So they're not as sticky and I can kind of play with them without kind of committing. The cut above kits, the paper is not as um, heavy as our normal close to my heart papers and cardstocks from the regular paper kits. So I feel like I just need to be a little bit more careful when putting the adhesive down. And I do actually run into a problem when I had attached my photo too low 
that heart ends up, you'll see it later, covering up where I had pulled up some of that Lagoon color photo mat because it's not our normal close to my heart cardstock. It's from the cut above kit. And I didn't think I was going to use the balloons originally. I was just going to cover up that side just to have it be doodling. But balloons can be good for any celebration. And I love that I had the red in it. it. Gave me the balance between the heart and my brother's Red Wings sweatshirt. And so um, that journaling that I have done. If you follow my channel at all, I have these photos from my mom from the 40s up to the 90s. And my granddad had written on the back. He loved to take photos. Um, he was very proud when he got like a new camera or a Polaroid, I want to say in the 60s. And so he was very good at writing who was in the photos and the date of it and a lot oftentimes where we were. And so I wanted to keep that. And so I did make a copy of all of that information that he had on the back of these Polaroid photos. And here you can see I took that background element, kind of like a paintbrush swoosh, and just giving some texture to the top of that photo mat. I decided I need some more of that on either edge of the banners because the banners don't go all the way out to the edges of the photo mat. They're contained within the edges. And so just to kind of trick your eye into making that just a little bit bigger, I went ahead and I'm adding this. I call it a paintbrush swoosh. It's kind of a like a dry brush effect. And so I'm putting these under and I need to dry fit a lot as far as see what's on the page, how it feels, where I'm going with it, what kind of balance I have with colors. Like right now I have a yellow star in the upper right corner and it's really bothering me as I'm doing my voiceover. It didn't bother me at the time. I was paying attention to other things, but later you'll see that I find that I catch that and I move it. So this again is with the background element stamps. It's one of the bigger um, splatter stamps. And I'm just using it, I was thinking originally as kind of a way to show some interest behind my journaling, the list of who's in the photos. It ends up that I decided I wanted to just keep that momentum from the lower right to the upper left. So I do add another stamp of that in the middle of the layout. But here for this upper photo, I really did think about doing another swoosh or another splatter, I should say, up there behind those. And I decided that that was just going to be a little too much. And so here I'm adding it right in the middle. So you kind of get the movement from the, the top left down to the bottom right. And I do have the stars that are already pre-printed on this page behind that um, journaling that's in the upper right or with the upper right photo. And here, I it's funny, both of these, all, all three of these photos have some old fashioned light fixtures in them. And to me, they kind of draw your eye away from the people. So I was trying to cover them up. And I thought about putting a star in there, adding something else with that third photo, but it just, there wasn't anything handy and I decided it's okay to see that went pretty fast but I was showing that I put the rest of the papers back in the page protector and on a, the information sheet I make an X over what layout I've used so that when I look next time to pair some photos I don't think oh I can do this it's perfect because it's not in there anymore so there is a close-up of my layout here's how you connect with me on social media I will have a link to most of the supplies that are used under the description. If you click on that link, I do get a um, small portion back as um, sending you over to buy from Close to My Heart or Amazon. You can always help out by liking my videos. Have a great day. Blessings.